going on guys? Hey, uh, gonna mow the lawn, just gotta go get one more thing and we will be ready to go. Ah, there it is. Wait, I don't need a gas can. I'm trying out my electric reel mower. Stay tuned. All right, so check it out. This is the Sunjo plug-in electric reel mower. Picked it up off of Amazon. And uh, I figured, why not? So I wanted to see what this thing was really capable of. The uh, Sunjo Scarifier and Dethatcher that I used was awesome. And I was really happy with that. So I thought, why not try out some of their other tools that they have? Uh, so I went on Amazon, I found that they had a real mower and I was like, hey, what better thing for me, a guy who has real mowers to look at and try out than a real mower? So let's, uh, let's look at this Sunjo real mower for a minute and see really what makes it different from a normal real mower. All right, so obviously first thing that, that's gonna be different from a traditional real mower, uh, from a greens mower um, or even a, a homeowner model uh, real mower is the fact that it is a plug-in electric. Uh, it's a 6.5 amp electric motor, I believe. One of the things that I like right off the bat is the ease of adjustment. You go just like this, and just like that, one-handed, you can change from all the way down at one inch up to 2.6 inches. So pretty cool. Uh, I like that. It comes with the optional bagger here that attaches right here on the back. All right, so the big thing that's really different about this reel mower is the blade situation. So let's look at that. So this reel mower, unlike normal traditional reel mowers, has individual blades. So there are 24 of these individual blades that go and cut across a bed knife that's slotted for each individual blade. Um, kind of a different idea, but something I, I think is actually pretty interesting. So it seems like an interesting option. So let's uh, fire it up and test it out. So I'm gonna have this uh, all the way down at one inch. I've been mowing the backyard at about an inch anyways, so this should be perfect. So let's go ahead and try it out. So putting this bagger on is really pretty simple. All you do is lift this up, goes on there just like a normal rotary push mower, nice and easy. All right, so uh, made about six or seven passes. Uh, let's open it up and see how we're doing. So it's pulled off a good amount off of there. Uh, and as you can see, it looks like it's, it's cutting pretty well. Uh, the grass was a little bit long for what it should be. Uh, I think just like any other real mower, you're gonna want to make sure you're mowing every two or three days. But the quality of cut is not bad. It, uh, it seems to be doing a really good job. The cord is kind of pain, a pain in the butt, but you know, a cord on any corded lawn tool is, is kind of a pain in my opinion. 
let's go ahead and uh, finish up and mow. We'll mow the whole yard and uh, I will uh, talk about my thoughts with the sun gel. so far this <laughs> the surprising thing is it actually kind of stripes it's crazy um, it's cutting pretty good it's not cutting like the greens master but the greens master is a much more expensive machine and this machine costs 160 bucks so yeah I think it's doing pretty good so far Let's finish it up. last bit without the basket to see how well it uh, mulches to see if that affects the quality of the cut. All I can say. Sounds like the Jetsons car. All right, folks, what you see is what you get. It actually striped fairly well. All right, so if you're gonna be using this without the bag, be prepared to have grass all over you. It spits the grass out the back towards you. It gets everywhere. It's not, it's not a big deal, but kind of annoying. All right guys, so what are my thoughts about the Sunjo 16 inch 24 blade reel mower? Um, is it a replacement for a greens mower? No. Is it a replacement for a homeowner quality gas powered reel mower? Probably not. Is it a replacement for a manual reel mower? It absolutely can be. Um, I feel like the person that needs to be buying one of these is somebody who number one has a small yard i've got a 2500 square foot backyard and it took me about 25 30 minutes to mow the whole thing between emptying the bag and pulling the cords around and all that uh so it's not too bad if you had 10,000 square feet this would be awful to pull around and empty the bag and empty the bag and empty the bag it, you know it's only a 16 inch cut so you're not getting a huge cut out of it uh, is that a problem for someone with a small yard i don't think so uh, is it a problem for someone with a big yard absolutely the nice thing about this real mower is it's very intuitive to use it's not like a uh, gas powered reel mower that really feels super different from a traditional push rotary mower. It feels very similar. It 
drives very similar. Uh, so for, for someone who's just getting into real mowing, and this is maybe their first real mower that they're looking at getting, and they're not necessarily sure they want to spend $1,000 on a used greens mower or, or buy a brand new Swordman or McLean or TrueCut and drop $2,500, $3,000 or more on it, this is going to give you a pretty good quality of cut. It doesn't cut perfect, but it's 160 bucks. You really get a lot for your money, in my opinion. If you're considering something like a uh, push-style manual reel mower, you know, Sunjo makes a push-style, just a manual reel mower, uh, or something along the lines of like a Fiskars or something, this may, have, this may be something that you might want to look at. If you're considering buying a Swordman or a McLean or a True Cut, uh, you know, this may not be what you're, what you're looking for. But if you're not quite ready to pull the trigger on that, this isn't a bad option at all. The biggest complaint that I have with this mower, I think, is when you take that bag off of it, with it kicking all those clippings back on you, it's really annoying. Uh, I wasn't wearing any shoes because I really don't like to wear shoes when I mow, but if you were wearing shoes, you'd have tons and tons of grass clippings in there. Super annoying. All right, guys, along the lines of assembly, one of the things that I don't like about this real mower is when you go to assemble it, maybe it's just me, maybe I didn't assemble it correctly, but when you go to attach this piece right here, it's supposed to screw in here and then have enough room for you to lock it in for easy removal of this bar. For me, that was not the case. This shank of this threaded section isn't long enough to thread in far enough for this to lock in. So I had to go to the hardware store, pick up this bolt, one for each side. I mean, it was like $1.39, but still kind of annoying for a brand new machine. So Sunjo, if you're seeing this, Tell me what I did wrong. I read a review on Amazon. Another guy said he couldn't get this on to save his life either. So I feel like I'm a fairly mechanically inclined person and for the life of me, I couldn't figure it out. So Sunjo, let's, let's fix that. Other than that, the machine goes together really easy. It's literally that bolt and these two bolts here that that's all you gotta put on and then it's ready to go. So pretty easy to assemble other than this little piece of crap. All right, folks, that's all I've got for this video. Uh, if you have any questions about uh, this particular mower or any of the other things that I'm doing, feel free to drop me a comment, send me an email. There's a link in the description below to pick up this here uh, Sunjo real mower. I honestly think it's a pretty good machine for the money. Uh, I would probably use this over a manual push mower any day. Anyways, that's all I got for today. I appreciate you watching and we will see you next time.